Hello, boys, girls, and it's of YouTube. Today, I'm going to be talking about this knife right here. This knife is the BRS Replicant Clone. I got this knife two and a half years ago. Um, yes, you did hear correctly. This is a clone. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like clones, but we're going to be talking about the viability of clones nowadays compared to how it was two and a half years ago back when I got this knife and this knife. Um, I have the Kershaw Lucha just for reference for... You know, the modern battle songs, how much they cost compared to how it was back in the day. Back in the day, two and a half years ago. Um, <clears throat> first off, we're going to be talking about how the Replicant clone has held up, which some people want to know. Because uh, if they go out and buy this, which I personally don't recommend anymore. Um, if you go out and buy this, how will, will it hold up? So this is my beater battle song. Um, you know, I basically flip it anywhere I go. I... Uh, do whatever I basically like to it and um, throw around, don't really give a shit. Uh, I Loctite it two years ago. Screws have held up, haven't fallen out. Here are the tolerances. There's the downplay. There's the upplay. You know, it's not awful, but it isn't amazing. Uh, the handles are titanium and G10, as you would know. Tonto style blade. Uh, polished blade. You know, it's rounded off in the back right there sandwich construction uh there is an issue i have with this knife i could never get the fucking latch off really what do you expect from a clone they seem to have super glued this screw right here so i couldn't get the latch off so i just cut you know i just cut the latch in half so it really wasn't in the way and wasn't bothering me um <clears throat> overall this knife has held up pretty pretty amazingly in the past two years uh, I've done whatever I want to it. As you can see on the blade right there, there are some scratches just all across the blade. From hand sharpening and just throwing it around. There is blade rub on the handles. And, yeah, you know, it's not bad. It's held up pretty good for the past two and a half years. Uh, I got it on DHK.com for about 85 bucks. And I think they can't really find them anymore on DHK. Uh, you probably, if you look really hard, you can probably find a couple. Um, 85 bucks. And here is the other clone I got, which is a Benchmade 42. Um, honestly, I think this is probably the only acceptable clone, I guess you could say, that I guess I could recommend to go ahead and go get. Yeah, this is the Titanium handled version it isn't the you know steel handled which only goes for like 20 bucks this was more like 90 dollars you know sandwich construction uh the reason i got this was because benchmade doesn't make any more 4x series battle songs so i was like ah oh, to hell with it if they're not gonna make any i'll just get this it's the closest damn thing i can get to it so i'm not gonna go out and spend 400 500 dollars on a fucking 10 year old knife so now we're going to move on to what I think about nowadays, you know, what I recommend clones and what I think about them now. Nowadays, uh, I personally do not recommend going out and buying yourself a clone anymore. You know, surprising, shocking. Um, the main reason is because the market has changed so drastically in favor for budget flippers that it is insane. Within the past two and a half years... You have amazing, you know, creators such as Squid Industries coming out with their Squid Trainers and the Triton for only a hundred bucks. And if you're really a beginner, you can get his Squiddy, which is PVC pipe cut into a battle song. It's PVC, rather. It's PVC cut into a battle song for only 25, 30 bucks. And you have, you know, Kershaw coming out with their most recent and only battle song, the Kershaw Lucha. Which is only a hundred and twenty-five dollars, and those were eighty. And this is a USA made, you know, one fifty-four. No, not one fifty-four cm. Excuse me, a high quality steel blade. You have steel handles, sandwich construction, runs on ball bearings for only a hundred and twenty-five dollars. And in fact, there is a website that I saw posted on the Facebook group. That's only you can find it for like eighty to ninety dollars on that website. Which was fucking crazy. These things are selling like hotcakes. And I'm surprised they haven't gone out of stock yet anywhere. Because Kershaw knew that they were going to make a knife that everyone would want. And they made a fuckload of them. 
So, yeah, you know, you have the Kershaw Lucha out, you have the Squid Triton, you have the Squid Industries Trainer, you have all these amazing battle songs that you can get. You have the new Bradley Camara Knives, you have the Bear Ops Bay 800, which isn't amazing, but it isn't bad for the price. It was only $100. You have all these amazing knives, and they come within a week time since when you order it. However, when you order a Chinese knife, it takes up to a month to a month and a half to finally get it at your doorstep. So, I personally am very much liking where the market is at this moment in time. It is very nice and amazing to see all these companies and all these people stepping up and making these, you know, cheaper and beginner battle songs. That it, it's just, I'm so happy because now I can actually afford some shit. Back when I was 16, I couldn't get anything, you know, because the most I would get was from Christmas and my birthday. And I'd save up that money. And this is what I bought with it. You know, I probably could have saved up two birthdays and probably got a real rep. But, you know, I was greedy and I wanted something there and then that was just semi-quality. And that's that's why I got a clone. Um, but nowadays, for a hundred bucks, you can get a Lucha, which is not fall apart. You fucking sturdy, sharp. You can get trainers by Squiddy, Squid Industries. You can get all these amazing knives for less than a hundred bucks or 150 bucks. It wasn't like that back two and a half years ago when the cheapest high quality knife was $175, $200 if you wanted a, a BRS bare bones, which I do own actually. If you want a bare bones, it costs you 200 bucks, and most people couldn't afford that because that's a lot of bucks, a lot, lot of, lot of dollar, dollar use to, you know, spend. Um, and yeah, I'm just amazed, amazed about how fast the market has improved for beginner flippers i mean that's basically it guys hope you guys enjoyed the video i don't really recommend buying these honestly if you want to get a 4x series clone i think that's fine because you know if they aren't gonna make them and you don't want to cop 400 dollars for one you know fuck them you know they got the 6x series and a 51 you can get if you really want to get something true from benchmade uh which you know i have a 6x series actually on the way here I'm going to be doing unboxing and a video of that. Um, so, this whole COVID-19 situation, just a little update. Um, we got this from Mexico. My Theo brought it. So, big ass thing of rice. Big ass thing of beans. We got a big old thing of toilet paper as you saw in the other video. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're prepared for COVID-19. How are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or... Anything of that sort, just let me know. Uh, just tell me in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, I'm quite happy. Uh, I do intend to get a Squid Industries battle song very soon. His Cracker Rackin' just came out. I've been looking at that thing. Might get it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and peace, guys. Have a good one. See ya. Be safe out there.